ಮೇದಿನಿ ವಿಶ್ವ ವಿನೋದಿನಿ ನಂದಿನುತೆ ಶ್ರೀವರವಿಂದ್ಯ ಶಿರೋದಿನಿ ವಾಸಿನಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ವಿಲಾಸಿನಿ ಜೇಷ್ಣುನುತೆ ಕೋಡಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಲೀಡ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ and i don't think that it's not like the society before varna vyavastha was was created or invented it's not like the society was completely full of equality everyone was marrying everyone or or something okay and one fine morning randomly some rishis come up and and say that hey guys chill you all were practicing equality but how about we try this thing called inequality and varna vyavastha and and let's see how that benefits and everyone says okay not no equality great we'll just try that there's no fucking way that happened okay they were definitely codifying into law or scripture or as rules that see these things happen anyway let's just say that please keep on doing this which is what happens even today which i which i have made that point repeatedly that varna vyavastha in some form is inevitable virat kohli will marry anushka sharma virat kohli will not marry my sister or your sister no matter how hot or intelligent or 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 a great wife she is okay everyone is marrying in their caste so to speak even today most scholars most phd's marry other phd's most musicians marry other artists most entrepreneurs big time millionaires and billionaires marry women from other millionaire and billionaire families to endogamy kahan band hua I think the main point is birth based varna system arguments for and against right birth based also is inevitable kyunki again why wouldn't someone indul- want to inculcate their kids in their profession in which they have some generational wisdom to share i can practice my ass off i can play the guitar or practice music arrangement for 13 hours i won't i will probably definitely 99% sure that i won't be a rahman because A.R. Rahman's father himself was a reputed music arranger. He was sitting in with uh, recordings in studios when he was 9 years old playing synthesizers in his father's arrangements. I did not even hear the word arrangement when I was in in class 7 or 8. I did not touch the keyboard when I was already working in a job. So family family inculcation of their uh, professions is also always going to happen. These things are inevitable. You uh, the, you you can't prevent these things. Best we can do is not practice untouchability and being unnecessary really rude to people from other professions which would be the same as being rude to uh, people from other varnas because everyone has their duty and you can't dispute that that was the original intention that everyone do your duties just you do your work you do your work and the society works best that way and that's not something we do entirely today we look to our bollywood stars and actors and actresses and celebrities for for wisdom motivation life guidance and, and even fitness and diet that that's the stupidest of all i can't just take that because every time you look at a actor or actress they are going through hours of photoshop makeup two days prior dehydration so that their muscles pop up and beautiful lighting and great hair everything okay there's about 50 people working on the appearance of a of a of an actor or actress every time you see them whether whether in a video or in the movies or in in a photo shoot but naive people with who have absolutely no sense of fitness look look to these guys for fitness advice christian bale in one movie in the machinist he he seems like a guy starving for 50 days and then in batman uh, begins he he becomes a buff bodybuilder kind of a guy uh, very bulky at least do you think that that's done with with healthy <laughs> ways do you think that's done without trt or steroids people do think that i 100% will say that 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 d- definitely requires hard work but not with normal normal diet it definitely takes chemicals along with hard work if you're not going to take the chemicals don't look to actors and actresses for the fitness advice this deepika padukone says the weird crap she is a former badminton player her father is a badminton player casteism again so she has knowledge of fitness from a very young age she is probably basically an ectomorph body type wise but she goes around saying that do jaw exercise for a, to in order to have a jaw like her it's not that you have to work out and have a completely holistic outlook towards diet and fitness to have a jaw like her do specific jaw workouts and then you will have a jaw like deepika padukone that's the stupidest crap i have ever heard in my life but most things you hear from an actor or actress's life are a PR firm approved and therefore they are mostly crap if they are happy sad being aggressive they seem passionate passionate about a cause every each and everything about that is fake and PR approved so these are the mistakes we make today we are looking for brahminical advice from a person who is meant to be a vaishya or shudra in today's context we should not do those things jaya jaya he mahishasura mardini ramya ka pardi